Hello, my name is Samuel Bryan. I am a graduate student from the Computer Science Department at the University of Montreal. Today my talk is titled, A Solution to the Labeled Robinson Pools Distance Problem. Comparing trees is an essential task for many purposes, and especially in phylogeny, where different reconstruction tools may lead to different trees, likely representing contradictory evolutionary information. While a large variety of pairwise measures of dissimilarity have been developed for comparing trees with no information on internal nodes, very few measures have been designed for node-labeled trees. For instance, this is required for the case of reconciled gene trees that may be labeled with evolutionary events such as speciation, duplication, or horizontal gene transfer. The Robinson fold distance is a well-established measure between phylogenetic trees. Despite the lack of biological justification, it has the advantage of being a proper metric and being computable in linear time. For phylogenetic applications involving genes, however, a crucial aspect of the trees ignored by the RF metric is the type of the branching events. The Robinson Fold's distance was originally defined for unrooted trees in terms of edit operations on tree edges, more specifically two operations, edge contraction and edge extension. The RF distance, however, is usually calculated by computing the sum of the elements of the symmetric difference between the bipartitions of the two compared trees. Figure 2 depicts those edit operations by illustrating the transformation of a tree T into a compared tree T prime. We observe an edge contraction followed by an edge extension. Those operations are recorded and their total count represents the distance between T and T prime. Figure three illustrates the same example as in our previous figure, but describes the method usually applied to compute the distance. We observe that each tree has only one non-trivial bipartition not present in the other. This makes a total of two bipartitions and leads to a distance of two between T and T prime, just like in figure two. Our first extension of the Robinson Fold's distance to trees with labeled internal nodes was done by extending the Robinson Fold's edit operations edges. For this purpose, an edit operation that assigns a new label to an internal node called node flip was added. Additionally, an edge contraction now requires identical labels. Moreover, an edge extension produces a child node with an identical label, preserving the requirements for a metric. Moreover, the edge-based label Robinson Fold's distance is defined for rooted and unrooted trees with no labels restricted to two types. We illustrate in figure four the mechanisms of our new operations. It can be observed that a node flip may be required before an edge can be contracted. The algorithm we developed to compute ELRF is a bounded heuristic for general trees that achieves a factor two approximation. Finally, its theoretical complexity is unknown. Our second and most recent extension of the Robinson Folds at a distance to label trees is based on edit operations on nodes. We introduced three operations, node insertion, node deletion, and node label substitution. This distance has a particularity to be defined on trees with an arbitrary set of node labels. Moreover, like RF and ELRF, it is a true metric and is defined for rooted and unrooted trees. The mechanisms of the operations on nodes are depicted and described in Figure 5. To compute this metric, we developed an exact linear time algorithm. 
The algorithm can be described at a high level in two steps. The first step partitions the two compared trees and compares the maximum subtrees that can be treated separately called islands. The second step counts the number of edit operations required to transform each island into its paired island. To illustrate the usefulness of LRF, we performed an experiment where we compared LRF with RF and ELRF on a labeled gene tree with random edit operations. We retrieved the labeled tree associated with the human gene NOx4 from Ensemble Release 99, containing 182 genes, including speciation and duplication nodes. Then we introduced a varying number of random edits. For ELRF, consistent with its underlying model, we added the requirement that edge deletion only affects edges with adjacent nodes with the same label. In Figure 7, for RF, LRF, and ELRF, we provide the distance as a function of the number of random edits. As expected, the conventional RF distance returns the smallest values because it ignores labels. The two labeled RF alternatives perform similarly, but the heuristic for ELRF occasionally exceeded the true number of edit operations, a shortcoming that we do not have with LRF as we have an exact algorithm for this distance. Both labeled RF variants were better at estimating the actual number of changes until around 13 edits for LRF or ELRF, after which the minimum edit path starts to be often shorter than the actual sequence of random edits. We have presented two natural extensions of the RF distance to node labeled trees. On one hand, we have ELRF, which appears to have a worse computational efficiency than the RF distance, and which can be applied with a limit of two node labeled types. On the other hand, we have LRF, which reaches the same efficiency as the classical RF distance, and which can be applied with an arbitrary number of node labeled types. These characteristics are making it very useful for comparing gene trees of the various evolutionary models that may involve speciation, duplication, loss, horizontal gene transfer, and other potential evolutionary events. Thank you for listening.